Oh, bring on the sunscreen. It's not just for sunburns anymore. We know sunscreen can protect us from cancer, but a new study shows it actually slows the signs of aging. And if that's not enough, consumer editor Stephen Cooper reports the new study means good news for our wallets as well. This study conducted in Australia where the sun is fierce has been applauded by other researchers and dermatologists around the world. And if you wear sunscreen, you'll be applauding too. Basically, the study broke up 900 participants into groups. What a sign to slather on broad spectrum sunscreen with SPF 15 every single day for four years. Members of another group were assigned to simply use sunscreen at their discretion. The daily sunscreen group showed no detectable increase in skin aging after four and a half years. Yes, the sunscreen alone kept the skin younger. Really? Really? I'd never heard that. Me neither. So I was thinking, if sunscreen actually slows the signs of aging, what about all those expensive wrinkle creams? Well, there probably isn't a huge difference. That's Florida Hospital dermatologist Tacey Rico. We brought a $5 generic sunscreen with SPF 50, a $7 Neutrogena sunscreen with SPF 45, and a bottle of Elizabeth Arden anti-wrinkle cream with SPF 30, that retails for $129. Do I need to spend over $100 for this to get the same benefit? No, no, absolutely not. In fact, the active ingredients in each product are sunscreens, basically the same sunscreens. The only difference is this one sunscreen in the expensive bottle. Is that like a premium sunscreen or a better no, sunscreen? No, it's just a different type of sunscreen. We showed our products to consumers. Only this 14-year-old girl turns them over to study the ingredients. People don't tend to look on the back. I mean, if it says anti-aging and it's in a flashy box and it's at a high price range, as you said, they're going to believe it because who want to sell us something that you can buy at Walmart for five bucks that practically does the same thing. As far as the inactive ingredients go, they may contain elements in small amounts that help the skin short term. Such as dimethicone that, you know, kind of help fill in fine lines, but just, just temporarily. Our expensive brand contains dimethicone and shea butter, which helps moisturize dry skin, as well as urea, which helps exfoliate top layers of dead skin. That might give you a little bit of some kind of mild rejuvenation to your skin. But the anti-aging element is ultimately the sunscreen. Well, I'm gonna go get some sunscreen. And that's the idea. Just be sure it says broad spectrum. That way the sunscreen blocks out both UVA and UVB rays. Or you could go chemical free and use zinc. It'll look like you've lathered on frosting, but it will give you that broad spectrum protection. All right, thanks, Stephen. And you should also pick your sunscreens with your skin condition in mind, especially if you're allergic to fragrances or have sensitive skin. Not surprised at all that the, uh, you know, drugstore brand yeah. works just as well, if not better than the $120 yeah. stuff. Why don't you throw a little zinc on once, once in a while? <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> all right, here's what we're